So welcome to another HTML and CSS tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be looking at margins and paddings and uh, what these allows, they basically allow us to do is give us extra breathing room around our divs or our images or whatever you want so first is margins this will give you breathing room outside of your div and then paddings which we'll do next is it will give you breathing room inside your div so if that doesn't make sense it will do in a moment so first we need to do is create a new div just a normal div like that nothing fancy and then we're just going to give it some basic styles so a background color uh, we just set that to green we're going to set a width to 200 pixels and a height to 200 pixels just like that simply and then a color to white because later on when we come to padding we'll put text inside it so right now if I run this in Chrome you see I've got the square, it's green and it's 200 by 200 wide and higher so what about if we want to if I run it again if we want to add space around the edges now you can see that the browser automatically puts a couple of pixels on the left and on the top and that is just to make it so it presents properly uh, I just slammed my mouse there that's what the noise was this, this is just to make it present nicely later on in the series we'll look at how to remove that or change that size but for now we're going to be looking at changing the margins of a div so let's say we want extra space here the white space we want that to be bigger so this is really simple in CSS we just set a margin and we could set it to 50 pixels let's say and if we launch that in Chrome it's doing 50 pixels around each side so each side, the top, right, bottom and left have 50 pixels around them. What about if we wanted the top to be 50, the right to be 30, the bottom to be 20 and the left to be something else. So 50, we just do 50 pixels, space uh, 30 pixels, I think I said, I can't remember. Then 20 pixels, then 10 pixels. So top, right, bottom, left. The easiest way to think of this is like a clock that so goes from top at 12 o'clock to, uh, to right at 3 o'clock, the bottom at 6 o'clock, and the left to 9 o'clock. So that's pretty much how it works with CSS. The same also applies to paddings, which we'll come to in a moment. Now what about if we want to style just the top? Now we can do margin-top and set this equal to 50 pixels. Just like that, and if we run that... You see we've just got the space on the top and if you haven't already guessed you can do left or right or bottom just like that all of them will work um, also if you want the left and right to be the same and the top and bottom to be the same we can just do 100 pixels for the top and bottom and then 50 pixels for the left and right and it does the same thing obviously here we can, can only see the top and the left now what about if we want extra space inside this box so I'm going to remove my margin here and we're just going to put some text inside this div I just put hello world, save it, chrome you see we've got this text saying hello world but it's right against the edge of this box we want some breathing space to make that look nicer so we're going to add some extra space to the outside of this box so if we add padding of 20 pixels this is going to make the box 20 pixels bigger on the right and 20 pixels on the left 20 pixels on the top and on the bottom so basically it's going to be 240 by 240 now since we're adding 20 pixels for left right top and bottom so if we run that now in chrome you see we've got this extra breathing room it looks it's presented much nicer uh, what about if we just want to set the top or the bottom and everything it's the same as margins so we can do 20 pixels 50 pixels 10 pixels and 80 pixels let's say save that running chrome and you see we've got all sorts of weird uh, paddings so that is pretty much margin, margins and paddings in CSS there's no, nothing really much more to it uh, in a future tutorial I'll be showing you how to get rid of that margin around the uh, 
cr uh, around the browser. Uh, but that's it for this tutorial. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next tutorial.